Everybody, uh, this is uh, the 72nd year that Kenmore Hotel has held uh, this prestigious event. Um, I first came here in 1989 to cover it for the magazine, and I was really impressed and uh, take blown away by how how much everybody committed to the salmon when it's only January the 15th. Um, but um, Everybody, I know a lot of people, a lot of salmon fishermen are out here, and uh, they know that uh, last season was not a particularly easy season. I think we would all agree on that. Where salmon fishermen love rain, and of course, we had a beautiful summer and didn't get much rain at all. So the uh, the season last year was was a very difficult season for salmon fishermen all over Scotland. And but 2019 is a different season. So let's see what happens. Let's see what happens then. There is a little bit of good news out there. Uh, I just reported on the uh, the fact that the nets off the coast of Northumbria, which operate there and intercept a lot of Scottish fish, which come up the east coast, uh, they've now been pulled off by the Environment Agency as from January the first. So as a result of that, another 20,000 fish will be heading up into the northern waters of the east, on the east side of Scotland. So there's some good news for you. That might encourage you that at least one of those fish might come past your eye. Um, 2019, it's, uh, it's, so that's 20,000 fish more than there were last year. So let's keep our fingers crossed. Uh, we've all got a chance. Uh, where everybody's going to get out there. I've been reminded to tell you that uh, if you are going to go out fishing today off the banks here, you will need a permit. Um, so you'll need to get one from the reception desk at the hotel here. And once you've got your permit and you get out there, remember that it only takes one cast to catch a salmon. And I'm going to try and get Fred to uh, make that cast. Um, he's, he's a golfer and he's a shooter. So he's got good hand-eye, I don't think it'll be too difficult to get him into a fish this morning. Over to you Fred. Thanks very much. Um, good morning ladies and gentlemen, I'm delighted to be here. Um, I am, for those that don't know, something of a nearly local man. Um, spent a few years uh, of my formative years along in Killen where my dad was a police officer. Um, uh, some of the older people might remember him. And, uh, for by what Alan said, I, I never assumed that everybody knows who I am, and that came true for me last year when I was putting my car into the garage for a recall through in Edinburgh, and the young girl that was checking me in said, it's only going to be an hour or so, would you like to stay? I said, no, I want to go into Edinburgh and see what these trams are like that we've all paid for, and uh, she said, well, would you leave me your mobile phone number? And I said, yeah, certainly, and I gave her my mo mobile phone number, and she said, and uh, what's your surname? I said, it's Macaulay, M-A-C-A-U-L-A-Y, as in Fred. And when she heard that, she looked up, she looked me straight in the eyes, and she said, I went to see him last year. <laughs> now, there's only one question you can ask when you've been a stand-up comedian for 25 years and somebody says that to you. I said, oh, did you? She said, aye. I said, uh, was he funny? And she said, no. So, uh, I'll keep it brief this morning. Um, I wouldn't have been able to do this for a number of years. Some of the, uh, the people that were speaking to in the bar last night remember me from doing 18 years on BBC Radio Scotland. I did the morning show. Um, it's now a kind of phone-in thing where idiots from Falkirk get a chance to go on air. And uh, so my life's very different. I, I, I don't usually get up this early, to be honest, Alan. I usually get up about 10, drift downstairs, have my breakfast. And what I do these days, and I can give you this advice, is... Uh, I phone PPI companies, give them a taste of their own medicine. And because uh, if you're out and about, you won't know your your house your house phone goes all day. And uh, this guy phoned me up recently. He said, uh, "Is that Mr. Macaulay?" I said, "Yes." He went, "Hi, Fred. How are you doing?" I said, "I have no idea who you are. I don't want you to be too familiar with me. I don't know your name. I don't know who you're from." He said, "Oh, sorry, man." He said, "I'm Jason." I said, "Who are you from, Jason?" 
He said, I'm from the Scottish Government Boiler Replacement Scheme. How are you doing? I said, I'm roasting and hung up. <laughs> so listen, I think we're all in good humour. Uh, I think it's worth uh, a round of applause to Jewers who have come all the way along here. Let's hear it for Jewers who have been providing the drams for us this morning. I think there's a, a few people here not in the least bit interested in fishing, but I've seen them about seven or eight drams already, so well done you. Um, as, uh, as Mike said, I, I'm going to try and do the cast. So for those of you that are very keen to get going, uh, the first cast this morning will be by my instructor here, and then I'll do the second, and then I believe it's uh, every man or woman for themselves. I wish you all the very best for a good 2019 season. I know that, uh, as they say in fishing circles, a lot of rivers were showing their bones last year, and I hope they have a very successful year. And with 20,000 extra fish, how can we possibly fail? <laughs> have a great season, folks, and thanks for having me up here at Kenmore. Cheers. There was no guarantee in this part, I didn't mention that. <laughs> You both are going to go around. Yeah. 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 All the best, folks. Thanks, Fred. <laughs> and that's us going into the boat now for the first cast. First and second. That's better, eh? Yeah. 